Hello, this is Dr. Kathy Calzone from the National Cancer Institute, NIH, and I'm Dr. Jean Jenkins of the National Human Genome Research Institute, also at the NIH. We plan to share with you today information about a new resource that will be useful to you, the Journal of Nursing Scholarship 2013 Genomic Special Issue, with articles that highlight the relevance of genomics to healthcare and nursing practice. Genomics applications in healthcare are increasingly relevant to care delivery by all healthcare professionals, including nurses who are practicing in every healthcare setting. Nurses bring an important perspective to the application of genomics in patient care. And in particular, there was an expressed interest by nursing deans for an updated genomic clinical series as a resource for education. The purpose of the special issue is to provide evidence reviews about the genomics of common health conditions with relevance for nursing practice and services. The issue consists of an editorial and 11 articles, all intended to provide a platform for preparing both the practicing and academic communities for a new reality. The articles provide an overview of current and emerging genomic science and technology, implications for international nursing care, the state of the evidence about genomic variation and clinical implications for common diseases, such as cardiovascular diseases, metabolic syndrome, and cancer, and includes content about both pediatric and adult conditions. Crucial to competent nursing care, the ethical, legal, social, and nursing research issues associated with the translation of genomics into healthcare are reviewed. The special issue begins with an editorial and it's entitled Relevance of Genomics to Healthcare and Nursing Practice, written by myself, Dr. Jean Jenkins, Dr. Nick Nickel from the Universal College of Learning in New Zealand, Dr. Heather Skirton from Plymouth University in the United Kingdom, and Dr. Greg Firo, who at the time was working at the National Human Genome Research Institute and is a primary care physician, as well as Dr. Eric Green, who is the director of the National Human Genome Research Institute at the National Institutes of Health. The editorial highlights the relevance and value of this special issue for nurses and their important role in the application of genomics to clinical care. Each article included in this special issue may be of interest to you. We now provide a few details about each so you can target those of greatest value to your practice. The article, Integration of Genomics in Cancer Care by Dr. Erica Santos and others, provides an overview of cancer etiology, hereditary cancer syndromes, epigenetic factors, and the influence of genomics on cancer management. The authors use case studies to illustrate how rapidly developing genomic advances are changing all aspects of cancer care. A topic of great interest to nurses is the article on genomics and autism spectrum disorder. It was written by Dr. Nora Johnson and colleagues, and this article provides an overview of autism spectrum disorder identification, diagnosis, and the implications for the family. The authors review the genomic contributions to the risk for autism spectrum disorder and highlight how current research on autism spectrum disorder underscores the complexity of genetic processes involved. The genomics of autism spectrum disorder is not yet well understood, so the repercussions of this lack of complete information on nursing practice, education, and research are addressed. Current and Emerging Approaches in Genomics by Dr. Yvette Conley and others focuses on the application of technologies for collecting, analyzing, and interpreting genomic information. The authors summarize information about four approaches used for genomic research with implications for clinical application including genome sequencing, genome-wide association studies, epigenomics, and gene expression. Understanding the ethical, legal, and social issues in the translation of genomic information into practice is essential to provide patients, families, and communities with competent, safe, effective health care. Laurie Bedzik and others in their article entitled Ethical, Legal, and Social Issues in the Translation of Genomics into Healthcare provide a review of ethical and legal foundations. These authors highlight issues confronting nurses today such as confidentiality and privacy of genomic information, informed consent, genetic testing, and biorepositories. 
Dr. Jacqueline Taylor and others wrote an overview of the genomics of metabolic syndrome. This article provides an overview of the diagnostic criteria for the components of metabolic syndrome the contributions of cardiovascular, obesity, and diabetes, genomic risk factors for metabolic syndrome, and the number of overlapping genes and polymorphisms associated with metabolic syndrome are described with guidance for nurses of what this information means in practice. Then building on the metabolic syndrome article is another article on cardiovascular genomics written by Dr. Shufin Wang and others which provides an update on cardiovascular genomics using clinically relevant exemplars. Those include myocardial infarction and coronary artery disease, stroke, and sudden cardiac death. Genetic testing is commercially available but not recommended for clinical use for cardiovascular disease, myocardial infarction, or stroke. However, Genetic testing for sudden cardiac death can provide valuable information for tailoring prevention and management strategies. The authors discuss the benefits and limitations of genetic testing for each of these case examples and describe specific implications for nurses. An important article for pediatric nurses is the one written by Cynthia Prowes and colleagues. The purpose of this article, an update of childhood genetic disorders, is to increase awareness of new developments in genetic disorders that are commonly seen in practice and taught by nursing faculty. Nurses have an important role in the identification of children with genetic disorders and facilitating access to services and resources. This article illustrates important genomic concepts of relevance to nurses who care for infants, children, or adolescents, and specifies resources to assist in this care. Dr. Diane Seibert and Dr. Thomas Darling wrote the article, Physical, Psychological, and Ethical Issues in Caring for Individuals with Genetic Skin Disease. This article provides an overview of five genetic skin disorders, including information about inheritance patterns, genomics, and treatments. The authors also discuss issues and concerns important to caring for patients with genetic-based skin diseases. The article, Implications of Newborn Screening for Nurses, written by Dr. Jane DeLuca and others, provides content that may be more familiar to nurses who work with newborns. This article provides an overview of current newborn screening activities, but also includes details about current controversies and ethical considerations that may be new to you. The roles of nurses in the newborn screening process with suggestions for nursing education and research are described. A summary of expected future developments in newborn screening, such as genome sequencing, with implications for policy, practice, education, and research is also included. As nurses are increasingly seeing older patients in their practice, the article by De Dr. Deborah Schutte and others, The Implications of Genomics on the Nursing Care of Adults with Neuropsychiatric Conditions may be quite important for nurses working with adults. Neuropsychiatric disorders represent neurological conditions that may have both cognitive and or behavioral manifestations. The purpose of this paper is to review genomic contributions to the following adult conditions irreversible dementias, Alzheimer disease, and Huntington disease. The authors examine immediate as well as future implications for nursing practice and research presented by these challenging patients and their families. The final article in this genomic special issue is a blueprint for genomic nursing science written by myself and others. This article summarizes recommendations from a 2012 Genomic Nursing State of the Science Advisory Panel. The blueprint provides the framework for furthering genomic nursing science to improve health outcomes. Suggestions for targeted research to build the evidence base on the value of genomic information are offered. This 2013 Genomic Special Issue provides a world perspective of the impact of genomic knowledge on clinical nursing practice and healthcare in general. All articles are open access and can be viewed at this genome.gov website. We'd like to thank the editor of the Journal of Nursing Scholarship, Dr. Susan Gennaro, and their editorial board 
for supporting the publication of this information of great value to nurses as well as other healthcare providers. This genomic special issue was made possible by several colleagues who provided their creativity, expertise, and time to plan and review all these wonderful manuscripts. The issue lead editors included Dr. Kathy Calzone and myself in collaboration with Dr. Nick Nickel. Our editorial advisory board included Cynthia Prowse, Dr. Diane Seibert, and Dr. Greg Firo. For other genomic educational resources, we encourage you to visit the Genetic and Genomic Competency Center for Education, or G2C2 for short, and the Global Genetics and Genomics Community, or G3C for short. We hope you enjoy these articles and that you find them helpful to integrating genomic information in your nursing responsibilities. Additional webinars with insights from the special issue authors will be coming in 2013, so we encourage you to keep your eyes open for future announcements. And we welcome your feedback on the topics and content provided in this special issue, so please email your thoughts to either Jean Jenkins or myself, um, and we thank you for your time.